Hello, I'm the Budget Modeler and this is episode 3 of my Airfix 112 Doctor Who Welcome Aboard Diorama Build. If you're watching this then please subscribe to my channel, give the video a like, leave a comment and ring my bell, that would be brill. Thank you! Firstly, I have to apologise for not producing any videos over the past couple of weeks. Real life has kicked in. Our puppy, as you can see her here, and I say puppy, she's 13, had an episode whilst on a walk and was very close to being let go by my partner and I. But she fought, so we will fight with her. These are pictures of her from 2016 having fun on Hemsworth Beach. This is her asleep. Yes, she does sleep with her eyes open. Freaky. Look at the grey muzzle. But then, she is old, so bless her. Anywho, on with the build. To begin this episode, we're going to be spraying the insides of the TARDIS desert yellow. So, without further ado, let's crank up the speedy uppy thing and crack on. There we have the internals and the phone done. As you saw, I've learnt patience. Rather than going at it like a bull in a china shop and trying to get a complete coverage in one go, I'm forcing myself to do several thin layers, which means I can then control the effect I want to show. Now for the steps. These are being painted in Alclad 2's 112 steel. So let's get them done, shall we? There we have the steps all sorted out. With it being our clad, doesn't need much time to dry, does it? Now onto the blue. We'll be doing the phone compartment, the top light cover and the window frames. As you will see, I was getting bubbles in the cut. I did clean out the nozzle and the airbrush, but it still persisted. I think it was an issue with the paint. It's those little plastic cups of paint that Airfix give you. But anyway, I persisted and we've got this sorted. So, we'll crack on.
And that's some of the blue done. But as you saw, the blue didn't take very well on the window frames. So we're going to heavy stick those. Let's get those cracked. Okay, they're off to one side drying. Now for the foam. First, I'm just gonna edge the backboard in desert yellow from Tamiya. Good Lord, I nearly forgot that one. Then I'm gonna give the cable on the phone a coating of Vallejo Red 70.926. Then I'm gonna give the phone itself a coat of Vallejo's 70.828, which is wood grain. I'm gonna texture it with a stiff, flat brush to show off the wood grain and so let's waffle let's crack on Now for Vallejo's 71.067 bright brass for the bells and whistles. That's the bright work done. Next, to touch up the phone where I put brass where I shouldn't, and then to paint the backboard with the wood grain. So, here we go with that. And this is what the phone looks like. I'm pretty happy with how it's turned out. Sorry about the lack of focus, but I am looking at new cameras. Anywho, time to move on. Let's get this phone box built, shall we? We'll start with the corner pieces, so here we go. Corner piece is done, now for the walls.
There we go, that's all the walls glued together. Let's pop those to one side so they can dry. Now we can move on to the center console. So let's crack on with that, shall we? There we go, there's that section glued together. Guess what? Yep, we can pop it to one side to dry. Now to unmask the top light cover. So here we go with that. There we go, looking good, don't you think? Well, this seems like as good a place as any to end, so thank you for watching episode 3. If you want to see what happens in episode 4, please subscribe to my channel, help it grow, like the video, leave a comment and ring my bell. Remember folks, stay safe, keep on modelling.